Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what an APS is? Well, even if you're not familiar with the acronym, I'm sure you've seen one before, or more accurately, heard one. This is an APS, or an Accessible Pedestrian Signal. You can find these located all over the world, and these help the blind and visually impaired successfully navigate intersections. But what if you live in an area that doesn't have an accessible crossing signal? Well, if you're an iPhone user, then you're in luck because we have a new application that can help with this problem, the OCO app. The brand new application, OCO, spelled O-K-O, it's a free application for iPhones, uses the camera of the phone to identify the crosswalk signal and reliably alerts you when it's time to go. And it actually works really, really well. Now, the app alerts you in three different ways. You have vibration, audio beeping, and a specific color that covers the screen. When the crossing signal is displaying the red hand don't walk signal, the app does a steady pulsing and vibrating with a red color tint on the screen. Then when the crosswalk shows the walk signal, the phone starts to beep and vibrate very rapidly and displays a green color on the screen. Finally, when the signal shows the countdown, the app starts to play this very rhythmic pulsing pattern with vibration and a yellow color tint on the screen. The app uses line of sight, so you do have to point the camera at the crosswalk. But that's actually a benefit because this also allows you to navigate to the crosswalk when crossing the street. Because the app constantly vibrates and pulses as you're walking across, if you get a little bit off target, the app will stop vibrating and you know you've gone too far to the left, too far to the right, and you need to veer back. When you feel the pulsing again, you know you're back on the right track. I think this is a fantastic app and I have personally used it several times to successfully cross intersections. Tested it a bunch in downtown in the city that I live in where it's very heavy traffic and it worked perfectly. I also tested it in areas that had not as heavy traffic, but much larger intersections, including a lot of the clips that you saw in this video here. And once again, it works great. Speaking of larger intersections, the developers say that they've tested this successfully across nine lanes of traffic, which is pretty crazy. I don't think there's any streets in my city that have nine lanes of traffic. I was even recently at a conference in Missouri where I was traveling alone and I had to go to a store to pick up some things that I had forgotten. I used walking directions on Google Maps to get my route, but I had to cross two pretty busy intersections, but it was no problem. I used OCO and it worked perfectly. Honestly, I've never had any bad experiences using the app. Now, of course, we've got to point out the fact that OCO, the app, is not a replacement for your regular orientation and mobility training or skills. In fact, when you first launch the app and you're going through all the terms of service, it plainly states that this should not be a replacement for all your other skills and techniques, and you should not rely just on the OCO app. If you are a cane user, if you are a guide dog user, you absolutely will still need to use your cane or your dog. And of course, you're still going to pay attention to the traffic flow and all of that. OCO is just yet again another tool to help make crossing intersections more accessible. Especially for someone like me, when I come up to an intersection, 99% of the time, I cannot see the signal across the way. So for the most part, I am 100% relying on traffic flow for that, to know when to go. So for me, having the OCO app kind of reinforcing, okay, it's time for me to go, the signal says walk, it's, it's fantastic. And once again, to top it off, it's a free app. <laughs> so if you are an iPhone user, download the app. Even if you use it one time a year, it's still a great app to download and have on your phone. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be putting out another video about the OCO app, going over the proper procedures on how to use the app, how to use it when crossing an intersection to get the best out of the application. So stay tuned for that coming out very soon. If you'd like to download the app, of course, I'll have a link to the app store in the video description down below, or you can just search OCO 
O-K-O on the App Store and you should find it without any problems. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, helps out the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video, which is every single Saturday. But that is it for this one. Thank you so much, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.